Hello everyone, it's Lakidra. I have a great word for you all today to encourage you. And so I want to get straight to it. You know, somebody most likely woke up and said, I miss him. I miss my spouse. I miss my love. And I know, I know I've been there. And there are days that I, I still, you know, have those moments. But, I, you know, as I was reading in Song of Songs, I read something so wonderful, so powerful, <laughs> so beautiful. And it's, it's so blessed me. I know it's going to bless you. And it's in chapter 3, verse 1, where this young woman was missing her lover. And it says, One night, as I lay in bed, I yearned for my lover. I yearned for him, but he did not come. He did not come. And that may be how you feel right now. You know, I'm yearning for my love. I've been trying to get him to come home. I've been trying to get her to come home. and But they won't come. You know, I've been wondering what's going to happen in my marriage. and It just seemed like it's just all falling apart. And so I want I, I want you to be encouraged as I go through. I want to show I want you to hear this. These passages of the verses. In verse 2 it says, "So I said to myself, I will get up and roam the city, searching in all its streets and squares. I will search for the one I love." So I searched everywhere but did not find him. So she's, she's, she decides to get up and do something about her situation. And nothing turned around right then. But guess what? She took her, she went a step further. In verse 3 it says, The watchmen stopped me as they made their rounds. And I asked, Have you seen the one I love? So now she goes to asking. She goes to seeking it with all her heart. All her heart. And then it goes on in verse 4. Pay attention to this guys. You, you are going to love this. Then scarcely had I left them. When I found my love, I caught and held him tightly. Then I brought him to my mother's house. Into my mother's bed where I had been conceived. You see, by her not giving up, it came to pass. She was able to have her lover back in her arms, restored. The intimacy came back. They had their moments. They romance had came back. They had that special moment again being with, e with each other. All because she didn't give up. She saw when things didn't turn around, it only made her press in even more. She was determined to go after her lover. And that's what you, you do. You, you be determined. You be determined to see your marriage restored. And it happened. It happened for her. And this is what God is saying. He is saying, go after what you want. It's not time for us to have the, you know, this pity party or whatever we're going through don't give up go after the one you love you know for some it may may have been years months weeks I don't know I don't know and you probably haven't heard from your spouse wondering when when would you know you would ever hear from them they haven't called, you haven't got a text, they haven't been around to see the children. But don't let that cause you to give up. She was yearning for her lover and eventually she found him. And that's what you do. You, you, you start asking God about your lover. You start declaring 
was yours. Because the Bible tells us that's what she did. If you look at it in chapter 2 of Song of Songs, verse 16, this is what she also said. My lover is mine and I am his. He browses among the lilies. Before the dawn breezes blow and the night shadows flee, in verse 17 it says, Return to me, my love, like a gazelle or a young stag on the world mountains. So here she starts showing authority. She started commanding and demanding by using her voice to come back to me. I mean, look at this, guys. I thought this was so amazing to see. This this lady, she, she began to start declaring who her lover was, saying he was hers and she was his. And then she began to describe him of who he was and what he what what she saw him doing. She said how he browses among the lilies. She began to think of all the beautiful things concerning her lover. And then she goes on and prophesies. She says in verse 17, before the dawn breezes blow. Look, she puts a time on it. She said, before the dawn breezes blow and the night shadow flee, return to me, my love, like a gazelle or a young stag on the world mountains. She declared what she wanted. <laughs> this is amazing. This woman declared what she wanted. And what time she wanted done. <laughs> what time she wanted it to happen. And didn't give up. And so she in verse 3. and I'm sorry in chapter 3. That's when you can constantly see. What she was going through. She, she, she was yearning. Even though things. You know because things hadn't quite happened. She began yearning. And she went after it with all her heart. She began to pray. Asking God. About where is he. You could see this is like a, this is like literally like a person just asking, seeking, not giving up, declaring. I mean, you could see all these amazing principles just just in these few scriptures that I've I've shared here. And in the end, it came together. It was restored. Her husband or her, her lover and her was joined back together. And so this is what. God is telling you to do get up and take your authority begin to declare begin to call forth your spouse and expect him to come hallelujah you know I'm, I'm rejoicing you all <laughs> I'm rejoicing because this is powerful this this is very encouraging so for you that are missing your spouse and you haven't heard from him or you haven't heard from her Hey, you begin to stand and do what 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 this lady done. Do what what God's word is telling you to do, and you're gonna see it come to pass. All right, guys. So I I'm not gonna hold you. I I figure I, I feel that I basically said enough. You know, it's 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 just that simple. You can endure this. You don't have to sit back and allow your day. You know, to be a day where you can't enjoy it. Hey, you can get up and th think about what's coming your way. Think about the marriage restoration that God has in store for you. And look upon his promises and rejoice about what he's about to do for you. You know, because the, the word of God tells us we can endure these hardships like a good soldier. Well, that's how you do it. You do it by meditating on the word of God. Seeing what God is promising you. Seeing what God can do for you. So let that be, you know, what encourage you guys. I just wanted to come on and share that to that one that rose up today or this morning, you know, and said, wow, I miss him, you know, feeling like it's over and you'll never see them again. Oh, you'll see them again, but not until you start speaking. <laughs> you got to be the one to get up and rise up and go after what's yours. So I pray this has encouraged you and you all have a wonderful day. And Father, I pray for everyone that is listening, listening, that you will strengthen them, Lord, that you would help them get through and that you will cause their spouses to begin to contact them, to begin to, to start coming around. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, and we thank you for it.
Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, I love you all.